from our Lord the time of repentance. We gather together to ask our Lord for a time for us to make reparation. Last night we made reparation in First Friday to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And today we make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary on First Saturday. Our Lady's heart is sorrowful and wounded by the blasphemies committed against her Immaculate Heart. These include against her Immaculate Conception, against her perpetual virginity, blasphemies against her divine maternity, from those who instill hatred against her in children, and hatred from those who revile her sacred images. In order to make reparation for these wounds to the Immaculate Heart, Jesus established the first Saturday devotion. This is done to make reparation for the blasphemies against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. What are we asked to do to change the world? We are asked to go to confession. We are asked to receive Holy Communion. We are asked to recite five decades of the rosary, which we will do together, and then meditate on the mysteries for 15 minutes to keep Mary company. Mary's promise, tell them that I promise to assist at the hour of death with the graces necessary for salvation from God, all those who, in order to make reparation, do those above conditions on the first Saturday of five consecutive months. There is so much to pray for right now. The upholding of the dignity of human life. A changing of heart and the redefinition of marriage to see that marriage is between one man and one woman. In the destruction of religious liberty and the spread of socialism and communism, in transgenderism, human trafficking, all these attacks by the evil one on the image and likeness of the human person, of the image and likeness of God. We are here today to make this reparation. If you cannot make confession and you are homebound, we together will do an act of contrition. If you are unable to make Holy Communion because you are homebound, we together will make a spiritual communion. Then we will pray the rosary and then meditate on the mysteries to complete what Our Lady and Heaven have asked us to do on this day. Why? It'll prepare for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. Look on your screen as we now join together in the act of contrition. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Now, as the bells ring here at the National Shrine, we hope all of you can receive Holy Communion today here at the shrine at 2 o'clock. If you are unable, we make an act of spiritual communion. Please join us on this screen. My dearest Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And finally, we will make the act of reparation for the first Saturdays of the month. O most holy Virgin and our Mother, we listen with grief to the complaints of your Immaculate Heart, surrounded with the thorns placed therein at every moment by the blasphemies and ingratitude of ungrateful humanity. We are moved by the ardent desires of loving you as our Mother and of promising a true devotion to your Immaculate Heart. We therefore kneel before you to manifest the sorrow we feel for the grievances that people cause you and to atone by our prayers and sacrifices for the offenses with which they return your love. Obtain for them and for us the pardon of so many sins. Hasten the conversion of sinners that they may love Jesus Christ and, create and cease to offend the Lord already so much offended. Turn your eyes of mercy toward us, that we may love God with all of our heart on earth and enjoy him forever in heaven. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Our Lady of Guadalupe, patroness of the Americas, Mary Immaculate, patroness of the United States and queen of all nations, at this time, we have to heed the words of Our Lady of Fatima. Today, we have read some very troubling words through St. Faustina, Blessed Michael Sapochko, the diary that were sent from heaven about the wrath of God. Now, it is important that we add to that by saying, in every apparition of Mary. She warned that she warns of chastisement, be it La Salette, be it Akita, be it Fatima, or wherever she has appeared warning. Mary has always used one word. If. If we do not stop offending our Lord, if we do not pray and repent, the Lord will be forced to allow chastisement. Pope Benedict XVI told us that prophecy is not written in stone. That prophecy can be contingent. Prophecy can change the world if we react to it or not. What did Our Lady ask us to do to prevent chastisement? At Coapa, in Nicaragua, in La Salette, in France, in Fatima, in Portugal, in Akita, in Japan, or wherever we go, what did Our Lady ask us to do? Pray the rosary. If you pray the rosary, we make atonement. If we pray the rosary, the if can be met. If we turn back to God, if we stop offending him, if we pray and do penance, and most of all, if we pray the rosary, she can hold back the hands of God just like St. Faustina held back the hand of the angel through the prayer of the chaplet, which we will be doing at 3 o'clock today. But for now, we will heed the words of Mary at Fatima, those words that tell us, pray the rosary so that another great war will not break out. At Coapa in Nicaragua, our Lady warned to avoid World War III, pray the rosary. At Fatima, Mary said to avoid World War II, pray the rosary, and we didn't learn. If at Fatima, Mary said the great war will end, World War I, but to avoid a second great war, pray the rosary, we know that war happened. 
Now Our Lady appears in Coapa, Nicaragua, saying, do not let it happen again. We are on the brink of another world war. Us in this shrine today, and you watching at home, I fully believe that together, even a remnant, even if we have 20,000, that was more than Abraham had, to save the city. If we can get 20,000 through this live stream, in this shrine, to pray this rosary, I fully believe we can avoid a world war. We did not do it in World War II. Let us please avoid the Third World War. Let us now pray together the rosary and then meditate on the mysteries to fulfill Our Lady's request of First Saturdays. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We offer this rosary for the protection of human life from the moment of conception until natural death. We offer this rosary for all the members of the Association of Marian Helpers, living and deceased, and for all the intentions that they have asked of us. And we also offer this rosary for the monthly intentions of the Holy See. We begin, I believe, in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again in the dead and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the health and intentions of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. In his anguish, he prayed with all the greater intensity, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. Then he rose from prayer and came to his disciples only to find them asleep, exhausted with grief. The fruit of the mystery, sorrow for sin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who will see the mercy. The second sorrowful mystery for the sins of the flesh and impurity is the scourging at the pillar. Pilate's next move was to take Jesus and have him scourged. The fruit of the mystery, purity. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and shall be, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Be all souls to heaven, especially those who will see The third sorrowful mystery for the sins of pride, the crowning with thorns. They stripped off his clothes and wrapped him in a scarlet military cloak. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they fixed it on his head and stuck a reed in his right hand. The fruit of the mystery, courage. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, accepting our suffering by carrying of the cross. Carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. The fruit of the mystery, patience. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Jesus uttered a loud cry and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After he said this, he expired. The fruit of the mystery, perseverance. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save us from the fires of God. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the sky of tears. Turn in, most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O kind and to loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate the great contain and obtain the great promise. Saint Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and be humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Lords, by the power of God, cast it to us, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. May the divine assistance remain always with us. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We give thanks and glory to God for the time of unity and that beautiful recitation of the rosary. At three o'clock, we will be praying the chaplet. These two prayers, like the two parts of the Mass, the liturgy of the Word, like the rosary, and the liturgy of the Eucharist, like the Divine Mercy Chaplet, will be our way to bring reparation to God. Now, in order to fulfill the last part of the first Saturday devotion, Our Lady asked us to meditate on each of the mysteries, or in total, of the mysteries for 15 minutes. At this time, we will be praying for the sorrowful mysteries to being able to call to mind that when we recite the rosary, it is not just a bunch of Hail Marys. It is scripture on a string. It is the Bible on beads. We are meditating on scriptural passages and the mysteries of the life of Christ. So at this time, let us join together in meditating and follow us as we lead you through meditation on these mysteries in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. God being outside of time, for all eternity, saw every sin we have ever committed and will ever commit. God saw in the sweating of blood the anguish he felt 
from seeing our sins. One of the most humbling meditations we can make is to come to the realization that some of those drops of blood that our Lord sweat in the agony of the garden were directly from our sins, us personally. Jesus told St. Faustina that her prayers helped to get him through the agony in the garden. Because God could foresee 1,900 years earlier that Faustina, 1,900 years later, would be praying. <clears throat> we today, too, can pray to either lift that cross and the shouldering of burden that our Lord felt in the garden, or we can weigh it down. We can repent and pray and lift the weight of the cross by bearing some of our cross. Or we can shed our cross and pile it all upon our Lord. This is what our Lord asks us to do. This is what our Lord asks us. He asks us to come forth, to be able to, to lift that cross that he experienced in the garden. What is sin? The pain that we caused our Lord is simply taking our eyes off of the creator and placing it onto the creature or the created thing. Have we taken our eyes off the Lord and put it onto another person? Do we stop practicing our faith or compensate the truth not to offend other people? Do we give up practicing our faith because our children don't want to go to church? Do we never bring up our faith or our religion in fear? Our Lord said that he can only recognize those who have recognized him. He will be forced to deny those who have denied him. If we have put ourselves on the throne of God, we have violated the first commandment. In the agony of the garden, who we put in of the throne of our heart is what caused Christ the pains and the sweating of blood be it another person, be it another thing, or worst of all, ourselves. Let us keep our eye fixed on our creator, not on the creature or the created thing, or ourselves. The second sorrowful mystery for the sins of the flesh is the scourging at the pillar have we outwardly acted upon impurity and unchastity? Do we realize that even within marriage we are bound by chastity? Certain sexual activity that does not result in the consummation between the man and the woman, with the man finishing inside her, the wife, is a grave sin against our Lord. Have we engaged in fantasy with another person while you have been with your spouse? Have you invoked sexual fantasy? Have you acted upon that fantasy either with another person or with yourself? Do you willingly watch movies that you know will have indecency, immodesty, impurity, and be sexual? Have you viewed pornography, realizing that the mystics tell us behind every image of pornography, Satan establishes a demon? And through the eyes of our soul, they open wide as portals. And when we engage upon impurity, or we do not maintain custody of our eyes, we open up the portal for the demonic have we kept pure, reserving the gift of that sexuality that God has given us within the sanctity of marriage? 
Have we dressed immodestly, knowing that this might tempt another to sin by the very attire that we have chosen to wear? Do we desire to be the sexual object of another? Have we made anyone else a sexual object? Have we in any way been impure in word, thought, or deed? If we have turned to the purity of the Blessed Mother, ask her for help in purity, the purest lily of all. The third sorrowful mystery for the sins of pride, the crowning with thorns. Have we put our will ahead of the will of God? Before making any decisions, have we taken to prayer what does God want for us? Before we have moved to a new town, enrolled our children in a new school, taken a new job, married a spouse, have we consulted with God that we follow his will? Before we invoke in our vocational call to the marriage, to the single life, or to the consecrated life, have we asked and implored our Lord to reveal his will to us? Or have we lived solely by our will? Have we followed only those rules that we deem applicable to ourselves? Have we disregarded the just laws of society, such as speed limits, such as ordinances, cleanliness, littering, or even simple keeping of peace? Have we in any way put our will ahead of God? Do we choose to use contraception in our relationships, disregarding church tradition and teaching through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit manifested in the magisterium of Christ? Do we listen to the teachings of the church that teach us that abortion is wrong, euthanasia is wrong, assisted suicide is ending the life that only God determines when it shall end? Have we fallen to the lie that euthanasia is mercy killing, not regarding the fact that God may be allowing their suffering for their very salvation? And now we have per prematurely preempted God's plan through our own will. Have we in any way disregarded the teachings of the church on marriage and engaged in pride parades, transgenderism, or the support of the mutilation of our children? Have we failed to speak up because of the pride of our own image at school board meetings, at work, when we see Christ being totally evicted, when we see Christ being removed out of pride for what people think of us, do we fail to speak up? Do we confess sins of omission as well as sins of commission? what we have not only done, but what we have failed to do? Have we followed the culture rather than God? Have we put the opinions of others to be more important than the teaching of Christ? Do we follow the teaching of the church, or do we follow our own teaching that we choose to adhere to? We are not cafeteria Catholics. We are to submit to Christ who gave his authority through the church. The fourth sorrowful mystery, Jesus carries his cross. Have we failed to accept the crosses that God allows in our life? 
Have we come to realize that our very family, our spouses, our children, our parents, who aggravate us the most, will be those we are most thankful for when we die? Why? Because they are the crosses that God has allowed us to carry. There is no resurrection without the crucifixion. There is no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. There is no eternal life in heaven without the purification and sanctifying of redemptive suffering here on earth. Have we accepted that suffering or have we outwardly rejected it? Have we looked to see where God's will may be in the suffering he allows us to endure? Or are we quick to say God has abandoned me, God does not love me, or God has forgotten me? Have we realized that in our redemptive suffering, God is giving us a share of his cross? God only gives his cross to those that he knows he can trust to carry it. If we constantly reject our cross, we've rejected the grace for redemptive redemption. To be a disciple, we must deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow you, O Lord. Please help us to do this. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Do we ever contemplate, ever in our meditation, what Christ must have felt as those nails were being driven into his hands, into his palms that ended up through his wrists? The spear that was launched into his side. And the nails that were driven into his feet. Do we ever contemplate that since sin brings about the wage of death, as St. Paul tells us, the consequence of sin, the wage of sin is death. That Jesus died on the cross because of our sins, but do we ever contemplate that Jesus died for every human being who ever lived or ever will live? Currently in the world, there are 8 billion people. We learn from science that over 115 billion people have lived since the beginning of time. If the world ended tonight, we will learn that Christ died for each and every one of them. Every human being is redeemed, although not every human being will decide to be saved through the grace of God. Do we ever contemplate that when Christ was on that cross and he felt that nail, that he did not feel it like you or I would feel it? I believe that Christ felt that nail 115 billion times greater because that is how many people who have ever lived in this world. Do we realize that when Christ said it is finished on the cross, that does not mean we will not carry our cross. That means that he has paid our redemption. He has written our check for salvation. But we must cash that check. How do we cash that check? We cash it at the bank, and the bank is his church. The church is the place where we get the grace. We are only saved through grace. There is no other way to heaven other than the grace of God. And how was the grace of God given to us in a check for salvation through the suffering and Christ being nailed to the cross? All we have to do is collect those graces, collect that offering that God has given us. How do you collect that payment that Christ won for us on the cross? At the church. When you come and redeem that check that Christ won for you by going to confession, being purged of your sin, now that the devil cannot even bring up at the judgment that you will face because even the demons are under the seal of confession. If you confess your sins, not even the demons can bring them up at your judgment. But if you don't confess your sins, we will be facing the prosecutor, the evil one. 
But when we cash that check of redemption, when we go to confession, when we go to Holy Communion and receive the bread of life, we are fulfilling the reason for which we are created to be with God for eternity. And the Mass here on earth is a foretaste of heaven. The heaven is the wedding feast of the Lamb. In heaven, we will be united to our spouse, Jesus Christ the Groom. Here on earth, we are the church. We are the bride. And when we come up to this altar we receive Holy Communion, we are engaging with God in marriage, in the wedding feast of the Lamb, the foretaste of heaven that we experience here on earth in this Mass. We have come to this church to cash in the redemption that Christ has won for us, the grace he wants to give us by dying on the cross. If we want to resurrect like Christ, we must be nailed to the cross with him. His burden is easy, his yoke is light. His yoke is easy, his burden is light. Let us not shun our cross. Let us experience it. St. Faustina said, Lord, I do not ask you to take me off the cross. St. Faustina said, Lord, I ask you to give me the grace to persevere upon it. Let us now thank the Lord for this time of meditation. Let us give thanks to God for this time that we can enter in. We give thanks to God for this opportunity to come before the blessed sacrament to receive this grace. Let us call to mind our sins. Let us make reparation to the sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary. Let us now complete and fulfill and offer this moment in a brief silence for you have just fulfilled the first Saturday request. Going to confession, or an act of contrition, going to Holy Communion, or an act of spiritual communion. We have prayed the rosary, and we have meditated for 15 minutes on the the mysteries. Let us now in silence offer up this first Saturday to our Lord, and ask that we can complete five consecutive first Saturdays to usher in the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let us finish now by praising our Lord. We will not repose the Lord in full benediction. We will leave our Lord exposed, so we ask that you keep reverence in the church. But we will do a blessing with the monstrance and the Eucharist.
You have given them bread from heaven, having all sweetness within us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament, of your body and blood, help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the grace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, <clears throat> blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world even until the end of time. I am Father Chris Aylor of the Marian Fathers, and I want to tell you about a grace I hope you don't let pass by. As a member of the Association of Marian Helpers, you can receive all the graces of our masses and prayers and penances just like you were a Marian priest or brother by decree of the Holy See. It doesn't cost anything, and it takes but a few seconds to sign up. Please visit micprayers.org or call us at 800-462-7426. God bless you.